St. Thomas Technical. St. Thomas. Parish of sand and stone. St. Thomas Technical versus St. Elizabeth Technical. It's the first meeting of the Costa Cup action between these two teams. Five time champions of St. Elizabeth Technical. First quarter final action of the 2021 novel coronavirus pandemic season. And while the captains are with the I see the officials will give you the starting team for the St. Thomas technical team. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Cole Bust. Thank you for joining us here on the Cole Bust of Sports Note. Not knowing the nature of the St. Thomas Technical School. They came second in their group. Happy Grove, who will play Monroe later on, came first. St. Thomas' the team is uh, Roger Irving, Sean Anderson, Xavier Lewis, Kevin Anderson, Gerard Thompson. Rashid Hudson. Alright, first one, first one, good up. Oh. Hudson. Navar Henry. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Gerald Davis at the Marnie Garden for Sean Grant and the Nigel James. So the uh, Davis will wear the number 10 shirt. Not knowing the, the nature of the preparations of this St. Thomas technical team. But they're in St. Thomas. I'm sure of that. Wonderful attractions here in this parish. And, uh, Come on, possible. Go on. The other one across is still in the six yard area. And the German couldn't put that one away. But good work from Zamario Douglas. Down the flank. While it's this team. Come on, Brad. Go around him, man. Have made two changes to the team that won against Lakovia in their last preliminary round. Sean, Sean, come on. Eagle Staley and the infringement call there, so Dante Camber. This is the starting team for the traveling team, Steph D. Jeffrey Henry, number five, back in. Shamar German, who got a hard knock, is out today. And Jeffrey Henry returns. Ty Stutter, a left fullback player. Ricardo Simic. Ricardo Simic. Michael German, Rocky Brown. Samaria Douglas, Romain Wellington, 
Sadiqi Savari starts today for the first time. Christopher Roy is out. Now here is Nigo Stay to force his way in. Still alive. Here is a Mario and that one right across the face of gold. And it's a Mario Douglas. Glorious, glorious chance. And it's a Mario Douglas. Slides that one across the face of gold. So the St. Thomas technical team, they're living dangerously here. And we are at the York Over. Or should I say the York Complex or the York Sports Complex? This is the first time I have been here. So, wonderful experience for me also. In this wonderful parish. A lot of landscape, as you can see. A lot of landscape. Hills and gullies and valleys in this parish. Great attractions. Reggae Falls is just up the road. Bath Fountain is also in this parish. A lot of sea scenery. Mr. the steam there in their blue shorts. Yellow and blue top. The St. Thomas technical team in their burgundy socks with the yellow and the burgundy top and yellow shorts. So Sadiki Savario, he came in, he starts today, he came in for Christopher Roy, who is out. Nigos Daly also starts today. So Stitch made three changes to the last game. So the St. Thomas technical team. Trying to get that one through was here is a chase now. And now the flag is up outside call and on RJ Simic. So number 10 Davis just now trying to tread through a pass. Here he is Davis. William Brown lines up one for the chase of Nigos Daly. Get around his player and uh, has been clipped. And uh, this referee seems to be cool. Not a referee that is card happy. I should I say trigger happy. So Gary Wilson. Is the man in the middle. First assistant is Ricardo McKenzie. Second assistant is Felicia Robinson. Rohan Brown at the top. Oh, here's the header. Oh, that's a beautiful goal. And the Michael German again has opened the scoring for the team, his team yet again. And uh, a wonderful delivery from Rohan Brown to open the scoring here at the York over in St. Thomas. So, Michael German again with a glancing header again. Nice goal there from. Me. So the second assistant is Valicia Robinson, and the fourth official is with Delville Horn. He doesn't have any horn though, but he's sitting right to my right. The horn is on the 
for it here. Bro. Uh, one o'clock start, so one o'clock start, so you know the sun will take a toll on the players if they're not careful. They got to learn how to conserve energy. While at the same time now while at the same time you, you want to give all your your you want to give your all but you don't want to to over exert in this heat so St. Thomas team they have a free kick just inside of the stairs half Floated by Captain Hudson. And he was slapped in the face there on Simit. So Hudson, Rachel Hudson, wears the armband. He's a central defensive midfield player. He is the number seven for St. Thomas Technical Hudson. Rachel Huston, Hudson. Number 11, Roshan Grant. And the number 10, Davis. Hoping to get goals for the, their team today. Guard. Over the top. And that one is long from the captain. And the whistle now a tug of a pull from Michael German. And Lewis will take this one short to his captain Hudson. And now they're getting some touches. Is uh, St. Thomas team. Douglas gets in possession now and he uses uh, his pace, his rolling ground but too close to the goalkeeper and now the Stets team they launch another attack and uh, Zamaya Douglas and the goalkeeper Roger Irvin or Ray J Irvin coming up big twice for the St. Thomas typical team So it's a matter of urgency, it's a matter of pressing from the Stets team. They're keeping it. A nice corner inside. Here's a header. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's a goal. And uh, Captain Dante Campbell finally get his goal. So, Captain Dante Campbell with a glancing header for his first goal of the campaign. And he's so elated. All smiles all the way. All 32. I don't know if it's 32 teeth he has, but all his teeth are showing. So, Devante Campbell has made it 2 0. And the St. Thomas technical team. Going down to the five time champion. The St. Thomas technical team, they are yet to taste the Costa Cup glory. <laughs> and they have. Good! Yeah, man! Yeah, man! I have been Davis. Grant, here's Davis now. Jibbles inside. Jibbles inside. Watch out, watch out! And uh, 
Migos Daily forces a free kick. So free kick here for the St. Thomas team. And Davis looks like the set play specialist for the team. He's over this one. And that one is direct. And they're headed away by uh, Jeffrey Henry. And they're showing his energy in trying to retrieve his uh, second ball. So two nil. First half action. All the way in St. Thomas. St. Thomas Technical Road at a nice ball intercepted by Captain Clock Campbell. And I'm sure he that he is a pumped up now. And already here is Amaria Douglas. He likes to dribble. Still Damari Douglas and uh, now he regained possession and the St. Thomas technical team just gave back Zamaria Douglas and the captain Hudson for the St. Thomas team. Here is a grant and uh, Grant could uh, continue his run. But Grant is a big bulky player. And I'm sure that he would want to make a good impression today. Running down, ball bounce over his Hudson, St. Thomas Technical in possession. And the ball looking there for the run of Nigel Jennings. And now we call. <laughs> that favors the Stets team. Monroe College, they will battle. Team from Portland, Happy Grove, in the next encounter right here. You know, there's some touch there before me. So, good atmosphere here. Good conditions. Feel is not that bad. Need a little bit of brushing though, but it's uh, suitable for some good football here. Sunshiny day. A little breeze to cool the conditions. And uh, it's testing they are making their travels count. It's a long way here. Six hours to get to St. Thomas. With a header, oh, and the Michael German with another glancing header. Unfortunate for German. It should have, should have been on a hatchet by now. But goalkeeper Irvin will stand in his ground. Here is a Douglas and uh, defending there from Anderson and Anderson standing his ground. Steps still in possession and having a lot of possession. Here's Brown. Oh, what a beautiful strike there from Rohan Brown. He watched that ball that bounced once and it didn't make it bounce twice. Instant. 
into the top left corner. Three left. Here's the scoreline, and Rohan Brown is having a wonderful campaign for the Steps team. So by the looks of it, by the looks of it, it looks as if the floodgates are open. As I said before, for the as I said before, folks, I know nothing about the Santa Claus team. But it's this team, they're showing up this team to full effect. And uh, the man the garden tossing in the middle of the park as one is team of free kick. So 3 0. by Savario, player that came in for Christopher Roy. And a strong offense will surely strengthen your defense. Come on, Brad. Here is Brad. Even in the position now, he was playing. He was playing his all the way. Still standing his grounds. Vegas Dell is showing a lot of potential. Play that one through. Oh, come on, man. And German again. And um, wondering why German didn't. Uh, German didn't make a. Make full use of that. So Vegas Dell is gone. You're not missing any action now. And Sean Anderson. Sean Anderson. No! 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 Freaking St. Thomas Technical Team. And let me thank you again for making it all of us time. Sports no, man, Steps YouTube page. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. So Nigo Staley is back on. Rohan Brown, the ankle band was too tight. Mr. Assistant. Here's a free kick now. A shot and the captain Hudson having a goal there for goalkeeper Rommel Wellington. I think that's his first taste of action. Rommel Wellington, the Stets custodian. There's Grant. Set down step because getting some some free kicks, they're getting some position. And the number eight, that's a Navarre Henry. Just walk away from that one. And the captain Hudson is over it. Grant is in the middle. Garden loss over there. Davis, he chips that one over the top. Oh, that's a nice ball. Here's a chance now for the center of steam. Could not capitalize. Was a Davis. So uh, Devon Davis could not capitalize on that chance. So the St. Thomas Technical Team they creep in behind the Stas defense like team in the night. And I could not take anything out of the test house. 3 0. Send the most technical team to get in some possession. Free kick again. And Lewis he dives in. Like he's diving into the reach balls. Or. Here's a Lewis, long ball over the top, and uh, 
stood out just hit that one tamely up still in danger ball played across and, uh, no one is there did not do much on the way goal keep coming up but let me thank you again for taking it up all of us to sports we are here at the york sports complex in the st thomas but there was a fair condition fair the conditions here you can see some clouds developing on, on, on top of the mountains so it's water break first water break of the half so welcome back to goldbuster space now that was first water break three nil scoreline the technicals, St. Thomas Technical, in uh, their Burgundy, in yellow. And versus uh, St. Elizabeth Technical, in their blue and white, in the blue and yellow. And uh, referee just called back the first infringement. And uh, now, have to be attended to by Sent to St. Thomas technical team. The coach is Kevin Blackford. Joma McCoy, team manager. Physio is uh, Darren Steven. And Rodriguez Hutchinson is the manager. While the steps in the they are not changing formation, they are not changing the tactics or the system. So Omar Ramo, whatever it is, the head coach. They then Dennis, assistant coach, Brandon Gale, second assistant. Ron Thomas, physical trainer, Ashika Hibbert, physio, and Lakaya Blackwood. COVID-19 Marshall and just to enlighten you every team needs a COVID-19 Marshall and good work from number 16 Jennings turn and shoot there resulting in a corner kick Leon Hansen is the manager of the Stats team Here's a corner taken at the front post. Yeah! And, uh, tackle there and uh, outside the box. The first card of the game goes to Tyrese Stoddard. And Stoddard rushing in there, uh, hoping to get a touch off the ball, but he missed all balls. Did not miss the player though. And the yellow card is the result free kick on the edge of the 18 yards on that four side. Anderson is going to this one. And they make use of this one. That's a nice free kick button headed out. Now he's still alive. He's a chase now. And the German didn't know where the ball is. A player is down. That seems to be a Savario. So Savario is down. So what nice uh, Jennings on the 16 for St. Thomas Technical Team, Russian Grant number 11, and Devon Davis number 10, 8 is uh, Navarre Henry who had uh, that free kick just now. moves to the right side target out on the left side now he drifts to the, the right side and uh, Jennings 
Jevon. There's a ball over the top now. It should be the goalkeeper ball and Romel Wellington cleans that ball as the ball was his. So the Stets team, they took their foot off the gas and they're giving away a lot of free kicks. And uh, allowing the St. Thomas technical team to gain some possession. Now can they take it back? And uh, start it out in that high press game that they started with. They get back that momentum. Uh, the St. Thomas technical team really applying themselves well here. It's their place. But the team they are just borrowing time. And Michael German kick was pass was off. Here's a nice turn. And now the free kick come that's so Nigel Jennings look a very competent player in the middle of the park number 16. Nigel Jennings. So Captain Hudson. And the, the St. Thomas technical team, they are having a lot of free kicks in the last 10 minutes. That one is far wide, headed out by Stoddard, still with Hudson. Ball all the way back by Anderson. And Anderson, they are playing on the same side. Uh, I, I wonder if they're brothers. Number two, Sean Anderson, and number twelve, Kevin Anderson. So, number twelve, Anderson, centre back player. While number two, Sean Anderson, is the left fullback player. 4-4-2 is the formation for both teams. <laughs> Anderson. Punch up front with Douglas. Douglas like to take on his player, he like to get rid of his player, yet he has done it again. Miss Douglas, can he get this one right now? He don't want to run him down, and that one is over the top. So we're we'll running Brown with another opportunity to get his second here. He's not that one way over the top. He never remains a scoreline, but the amount of chance that this team got, they should have been six or seven up. So, uh, manager just demonstrating with these players that he cannot be having a shooting. There's Granny. And uh, Granny trying to turn away from two players. Uh, Run, 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 run. Daily showing his energy. Very efficient players, Amigo Staley. Energetic. Always getting back to support Jeffrey Henry. That is good from a flank player. Her attacking player. One is at the back post, and goalkeeper comes and collects. The sun is not, well, the sun is hot, but the conditions is not so bad because of the breeze that is cooling down there. Um, that's a nice ball over the top now to Smith, Ajay. The Eagles daily and Eagles daily got a free kick for his team, but as the, as the coach indicated to Ajay Sinek, I think he should have uh, go forward. Instead, he choose the option to go back. But he should have go, gone forward there. So a free kick now for the test team. 
and the man and the man over with is Rohan Brown right at the front post and uh, the shins of the German but he, he wasn't expecting that to reach to him Nicardo was flying in chips off the head of Nicardo Simic and the shin off German so I really can't say anything about the chance about German Unexpected. And uh, start out giving away possession cheaply. St. Thomas technical and uh, it down. And uh, Thompson, and Jevon Thompson, who was a casualty, and uh, Stoddard stayed down. So the condition is really hot here. It's a mix. A mixture of conditions where the breeze ease off and allow the sun to work and the breeze to come again and cool down the place. Three nil steps in the lead. All the way from the breadbasket parish to the parish of Sands and Stone, St. Thomas. It's a nice ball for German to use his pace and uh, a clip there, but no card will be shown, I'm sure. The referee just using his discussion. Good referee, but Anderson was. A was right and the close to German. The German pace had the better of him. So, no card issued there, but that's a good call from the Ferry Wilson. So, free kick here now for this test team. 20 yards up, just on top of the team. I'm sure that Rohane Brown, he had. He had a lot of chance to score from set play. Now let's see if he can deliver this one to get his second of the game and to give his best in their fourth. Rohan Brown is over it. And that's through the wall. And the goalkeeper is there, that's Irvin. Now is Grant, and uh, Grant didn't wasn't looking Hudson, looking Hudson. Now Saint Thomas to the goal team to Henry, another Henry, and uh, Dante Campbell really a defender that you will admire watching he always have he's always one step ahead of you and he's always leading by example he wears a captain arms back and uh, now Anderson side to Davis Rohan down Right. Tyre stood out with a lot of space. So that all the way back inside to Rohan Brown who came close for it. That's a nice ball to German. Now Samaria Douglas again. 
Here's Douglas again. Play that one inside. No one is there. And uh, it's just team will regain possession to Nicola Smith. And uh, right now, St. Thomas Technical, Davis. He's that one off. Yes, St. Thomas Technical, they're getting some passes through for Grant. So we say, St. Thomas Technical throwing. Ball played inside. Here's a shot coming in. So that's a. He's holding his face. Soon give you the name of the player that is down. So that's Ricardo Smith. And Ricardo Smith took, took a knock to the face. And players are, have uh, gotten a chance to reserve some energy and serve some energy. Now the game resumes. Intercepted by Grant. And, uh, Henry giving away position there. Stay still. To stutter all the way back to his captain. He made a forward pass looking for Zamaru Douglas. But uh, a bit too far away. Throwing. And the assistant on the far side, second assistant, is Alicia Robinson. Throwing some thoughts. On to Henry. He lost possession. Back to Henry now. He turns. Shot, shot, shot. And a fly up one over the top. No one is there. And in fact, that was number nine in the garden. Run, run, run. So it's this team in the first 20 minutes had a lot of chance to put the game away. Three and then is a very, he's a hill to climb, but he's, he's not a hard, hard hill to climb. He can make it over this hill, but this uh, team should have put the St. Thomas team away from the first 20 minutes. Allowing the St. Thomas team to, to gain for just to gain the confidence is not. Yeah, man, stand up, man, stand up, man. Yeah, man, look it up. Oh, here we go, Anderson. Yeah, man, stand up, man. And then Campbell had that one partially off to the inside of the danger area. Lay that one off to Captain Hudson. Getting a pass through. And. Mayo, the ball on the machine, look a bit. Hey, look at that right then. Look! 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 That is good from the standpoint of refereeing. Garden over this one. Look like he's, he's going to goal. Corner kick coming up here. So the St. Thomas team, they're getting 
some set plays, a lot of set plays in the game. And uh, this is your third corner kick. And uh, the man with the set play in Devon Davis is over this one. Seven players inside the box at the front post. Still alive, it's still in all the test team. They have a chance to clear their lines. Long ball for the chase of German. And uh, Anderson get there before that's getting Anderson Luther, who got there before number nine, Michael German. There goes the halftime whistle. So 3 0 is the scoreline.